John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And he dreamed, and behold a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. Genesis 28-12 Commentary And he dreamed. As he slept, not a common dream, but under divine direction and influence. And, behold, a ladder set upon the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. Denoting either the providence of God, and the various steps of it, bringing about his own glory and the good of his people, and which is steady, firm, and sure, and reaches to all things here on earth, and in an especial manner is concerned about the people of God, their protection, and safety, and is directed and governed according to the will, counsels, and purposes of God in heaven, a view of which must be very encouraging to Jacob in his present circumstances or else the incarnation and mediation of Christ, who in his human nature was to be in the fullness of time on earth, there to live a while, obey, suffer, and die, and so was the latter set on earth, and his divine nature was the top of it, which reached heaven, here he was in that nature before his incarnation, and from hence he came, and indeed here he was in that when on earth, and as man, he ascended on high when he had done his work, and is now higher than the heavens, he may be fitly represented hereby as the mediator, who has reconciled things in heaven and things on earth, and has as it were joined and united heaven and earth together and the various rungs in this ladder, so considered, are Christ's interposition as a surety front eternity, his incarnation in time, his being under the law, and his obedience to it, his sufferings, the shedding of his blood, and the death of the cross, his resurrection from the dead, ascension to heaven, session at the right hand of God, and intercession there. Moreover this may point out to us Christ as the way to his Father, of access unto him, and acceptance with him, by which he communicates the blessings of his grace to men, and by which they ascend to God with their prayers and praises to him as also as being the way to heaven and eternal happiness, the various steps to which are election in him, redemption by him, regeneration by his spirit and grace, the several graces of his spirit, faith, hope, and love, justification by his righteousness, pardon by his blood, adoption through him, and the resurrection of the dead. And, behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it, which may be expressive of the employment of angels in the affairs of providence, who receive their commission from heaven, and execute it on earth, in which they are diligent, faithful, and constant, and of the ministry of them, both to Christ personal, and to his church and people, even to every particular believer, see John 151.